LDC is an amazingly intuitive cutscene and dialogue UI system that can effortlessly create a wide range of interfaces. Utilizing a range of powerful scaling techniques, LDC can scale great looking UIs from the desktop all the way down to mobile. Perhaps you're looking for a dialogue solution that makes it easy to power the progress and story of complex role-playing games. Maybe you're searching for an integrated cutscene solution that can build sequences for visual novels or online comics. Maybe you're looking for an effortless way of interacting in a first-person shooter. Or maybe you need a way to build adventure games without worrying about any coding or translation work. LDC is a core asset that can help with all of this and more. In fact, the localized dialogues and cutscenes plugin is industry proven. Many commercial Unity games have used LDC. For example, Ninja Guy and Flight Unlimited Las Vegas have seen over 4 million downloads on the App Store as of 2014. But the really amazing thing about LDC isn't just what it does, it's how it works. Dialogue screens are at the core of working with LDC. Each dialogue screen uses a template called the dialogue style to determine what kind of interface to show. In this example, I've just set up a next screen, which is a simple dialogue with a single button to progress. It is set up to automatically play at start without any coding at all. We can easily navigate through dialogues by either adding new screens or connecting to an entirely different thread. In this example, we'll keep it simple and add another screen. As I've previously set up the dialogue cast, I can click into it here to add a new actor. It is also possible to drag and drop them straight from the assets folder. Now we can use the navigate tab to connect to the second screen. Here we've told the system to move the screen too. Each screen's ID number can be easily found in the top right corner of each screen. This means you can move in any direction through the thread at any time. As you can see, the navigation is working great and the thread has moved into screen 2. To end the dialog thread, we simply need to check the last dialog checkbox in the navigate tab. This additionally opens some new options such as allowing us to load a new Unity scene or to play a different LDC dialog thread either by loading one into the current scene or by playing an existing one. The Action tab allows you to set up various actions at the beginning and end of every dialogue screen. You can use this to sequence events in your game or to talk to other scripts via send message. The Action tab also opens up features to set up backgrounds and actors for your cutscenes, extra audio channels, powerful control over tokens and player prefs, as well as some third-party integration with other tools. You can also add localization with ease using the auto translate feature in the localize tab. Now that you've seen the basics of LDC, there's so much more at your disposal than simple next dialogues. Dialogue styles are the different template interfaces in LDC and more are often made available through updates. All of the interfaces can be modified using GUI skins without any coding knowledge, making it simple to create truly unique gameplay experiences. LDC offers a variety of techniques to manage scaling across different devices and resolutions. You can even manage separate GUI skins for different languages, as well as having mobile versions to save on memory. The Dialog UI object is the engine behind LDC. On this component, you can enable useful options for the user interface such as transitions, fades, audio and text effects. You can also set up input keys for the keyboard and joystick. LDC also offers an integrated file management system that can totally handle saving and loading your game's data. You can even create different user profiles in your game by using save slots. Finally, the dialog UI object allows you to create tokens. These are typeless variables in LDC and along with player prefs, they can be implemented to create conditional dialogues. This means you can attach visual logic to specific buttons and results in amazing power and flexibility, all without having to write a single line of code. But visual logic runs deep in LDC, 
as it can even be applied to the dialogue thread itself with logic screens to dynamically decide the root of the dialogue. This is great for quest systems in adventure and role-playing games. Along with a well-designed API, LDC empowers you to build great games with easy to use and powerful interfaces such as multiple buttons, data entry, password, logic, title and pop-up dialogue styles. LDC has been updated regularly for years so you can expect more support, features and dialogue styles in the near future. Thanks so much for taking the time to check out LDC. If you have any questions, feel free to send an email or head over to the forum. I'm always happy to help. Cheers.